In today's video, we're going to be looking at whether or not a German short head pointer barks a lot. Welcome back to the German Short Head Pointer Show. If this is your first time here, then my name's Rachel, and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirK9Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the German Short Head Pointer, then how to become high-level canine leaders who can raise perfect German Short Head Pointer companions. So if you're a lifelong German Short Head Pointer lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future upload. So then, let's get into today's video, where we'll be looking at whether or not the German short head pointer barks a lot. In this video, we'll be focusing on the German short head pointer and its vocality, but let's just look at dogs in general to begin with. Dogs are intelligent and complex animals, meaning that they're all different and all have their own personalities. I don't think it's too brave of me to say that you won't find any two exactly the same. And so, regardless of the breed, there are many contributing factors to what can make a dog bark. Some breeds will be more vocal than others, but that can be because of their breed history, training, socialisation, or even just the dog's own personality. We'll look at some of the main reasons that could explain why they bark or don't, and summarise the German Short Head Pointer as a breed at the end. The German Short Head Pointer was created to fulfil the need for a versatile hunting dog due to the rise of the German Empire in the 1880s. The heightened demand for meat and hide required a dog with a sensitive nose, discipline and an instinct to focus on the hunt. The German short head pointers we know today were developed from old Spanish pointers and Brac Francois, with the addition of German bloodhounds for tracking and scent work purposes, whilst also softening the breed's temperament. In the 1860s, this mixture was further crossed with English pointers to improve their speed and pointing instincts. The end product was a sleek, intelligent, loyal and versatile gun dog with incredible stamina, a highly developed pointing instinct and an eagerness to retrieve game. From what we know of the pointer, they're disciplined gun dogs, meaning they've had to learn to alert their owners of game out in the open without disturbing the animals. This is where their point position comes from. It's what they were taught to do to alert hunters to game. A barking gun dog isn't particularly efficient, and so working pointers are trained not to bark when out on a hunt, and this leaks into their everyday lives. They have become quiet dogs. They also work remarkably well on physical cues, which again works very well for both the owner and the dog out on a hunt. Owning a pointer makes you very clued up to their body language quickly, and vice versa. You can even predict when your pointer looks as though they're going to bark and quickly command them to stop in their tracks, if that's something that you'd prefer with your lifestyle. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're struggling with any kind of behavior with your dog, I have a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behavior, where I boil down all of my experience, skill set, and knowledge as a canine behaviorist and some of the most important things that you you need to know. Again, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below if you are interested. And if you are, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. Whilst these aren't historically guarding dogs, they are loyal to their owners and wouldn't hesitate to step up to protect them. So if they feel as though there's a threat that needs immediate attention or they're trying to see it off, they will bark. But this isn't going to be a regular occurrence and these dogs were made to be versatile and assured hunting dogs. It takes a lot to spook one. Proper training and socialisation to get them used to the outside world and all of the things that they could deem as threats can reduce any need to bark too, but it has to be done from an early age. These are extremely intelligent dogs that are best suited to working lifestyle to satisfy their mental drive to work. If left cooped up inside or they only get to run around a secure garden, they'll get very bored very quickly. And boredom quickly turns to frustration and dogs only really have one outlet to let their owners know this and that is to bark. You'll notice the difference between a restless, a bored pointer compared to a satisfied, happy pointer. Working pointers don't bark when working for a reason, and that reason is that they're getting all of the stimulation that they need to thrive. So let's do a quick recap. Historically, these are disciplined, working dogs able to work for hours alongside their owners to flush, retrieve and hunt various game. And so they've learned how best to do that by being quiet and stealthy when working. A working pointer will not bark when working and that then leaks into their lives at home. They'll be very quiet dogs if they're mentally and physically stimulated properly. 
the only instance a pointer will feel the need to bark is if they feel threatened. They feel that their owner is being threatened or if they become bored and frustrated. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We have three dedicated German short head pointer videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the German short head pointer channel.